sales must have sold, right, engage in sales processes for 10,000 hours. For it to be an exceptional carpenter, 10,000 hours. Exceptional litigator, 10,000 hours. Then you write to the top 10%. That's where them falano are. That's where them cause um, Festus Kiamu. I want to get Festus Kiamu defending in Booth's allegations of uh, court proceeding where they, if, you know, he forfeits the money in his account and all of that. Because the man is in top 10% of lawyers in Nigeria, he still made sense in that nonsense. I, I don't understand. <laughs> if you listen to rationally, you say, Munto, ah, this all makes sense. Like, I said, look at it. That, there was no indictment of Tinubu in that document. It shocked you, Ivy. It shocked you. Yeah, look at it again. <laughs> right? There must be a plaintiff. <laughs> when you finish the whole story, I just shook my head. I said, Chai, this is what means you are in the top 10% of your industry. There's nothing they can use you to do because you are part of the people really determining how that industry will. So today, I'm among the top 10% in real estate. Okay, but we have had to put in 10,000 hours. Now, here, this, here is the problem. If you do eight hours a day in your job, eh, how many years will it take for you to form 10,000 hours? Can someone do the math? Let's go for five years. Are we together now? Now, ladies and gentlemen, do you see why we always tell people that the Gen Z model of do two years here, go, right? One year here, go. Are, are we seeing what we're talking about? Because it takes a while, right, to really master something. It's not, it just doesn't happen by inconsistency. Are we learning at all? Greatness is a function of consistency. For you to be great at anything, you have to have done it consistently well. Right. Somebody pull a fast one on me when it comes to negotiation, and I knew he did one. But the man has been in business for 36 years, right? The founder of Champs. He's the one that came, literally begged me to come and do his estate. At the end of the day, I'm the one begging him. I, I even had to tell him. I said, this is when you are dealing with daddies. <laughs> right? Because it takes years to have that kind of skill. Now, you are the one bringing somebody to a deal. At the end of the day, he's the one begging you. In the deal, you begged him to join. Okay, it takes years. Right? So, the truth is, you must then keep doing your role play over... Are, are we now seeing the place of consistency we are talking about? So, all these... Ah, but me, I can't call anybody. Me, I'm shy. What if they said no? It's because you have not <coughs> done role play. You've not done it again. And again, and again, I said, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We well, at a golf course. They were telling me, a very young boy, right? All the elders dropped there and started watching him. He probably is less than 10. Pa, pa, pa. Eh? But even though he's less than 10, ask how many hours he kept putting into that playing golf, right? The old man comes maybe uh, twice a month, isn't it? Yes, and even that one, we just play small. He will never be as good as that young boy who keeps doing it, keeps doing it. And that's the reason why many of us are where we are. Even when we are tired, we keep at it. We keep at it. Uh, yesterday, I remember climbing the stairs. I was so tired. Right? Because I've been having body pains. I've not been to golf course in a long while. So on Sunday, I went to the golf course. Right? To make sure my body adjusts, on Tuesday, I was back there. I was paying to the night. Because when you feel pain on your body, what does it mean? Who can tell me? Eh? Eh? It means two more. Eh? No, it means your body is saying, I'm not used to this. Right? What do we all interpret it into? Eh? I'm sick. I've done something wrong. <laughs> You've not done something wrong. Your body is just saying, ah, this pressure, I've not been used to it. 
Now, if you want to make your body now used to it, what do you do? You do it again. So the only reason my body was aching all through was that you've not been to this, this golf thing you played, you've not done in three months. I'm not used to this. So to make your body get used to it, you go back again on Tuesday. And then again. And then again. After a while, you not feel the pain. The same thing with the gym. Right? But we program our brain. And that's why many of us slow down. Because we then program our brain to say, no, 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 what I've done is wrong. What do you mean by what you have done is wrong? You are the one that should master your body and not your body master you. And when you see people who end up living longer, what did you notice? They do more exercise. They stress the same body more than you that decide to be living. I won't do anything. You see, I don't want to stress myself. They, they, they do that. They, there are people like, I mean, someone like Okoga, for example, you wonder why they are alive. Even Rock, um, the Rock, with that kind of wrestling thing they do, you wonder why they are alive. Right? Because the pressure they put, but what have they done? Every day they are at the gym. They train that muscle. And we check many of them. They still live to be 70, 80, some of them. Even though you now see that they shrink, but they live long. Because your body just needs the training. The same thing with cold calling. Go again, call again. And don't do it once and drop. Because when you do it once and you drop it, you are starting all over again. So every day, oh yeah, GD, let's do cold calling. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm here from GTS. So GD will tackle you. Say, What's the better way I could have handled the, the client? So now that you've done cold calling, a couple of rules. Number one, when you are calling the client, right, be very polite and courteous. Okay? Be very polite and courteous. So what we mean here is that, for example, um, it is not courtesy when you are trying to talk to somebody and your voice is low. That's not courtesy. Good morning, sir. Your pitch has to be high. Even if your voice naturally is a low voice. How many of you know that I actually have a low pitch? Who knows that? Or who has studied that? Nah, none of you. But those who know me before know I naturally have a low pitch. I'm not the loud talker. Okay? So this one you are seeing me done is intentionally done. It's trained. Because I understand that I cannot try to pass on certain degree of, of communication, right? And I want it to sink in. And I'm just using a low pitch. And uh, you people should calm down. You people should do... Are you seeing the difference? Huh? First of all, even though I'm trying to motivate you, I've demotivated you. Uh, did you notice? Is that, you know, pressure in the voice? That energy in the voice that gets you to say, we get what this guy is saying. So it's not to be calling and say, hello, ma. No. Hello, ma. Good afternoon. How were you today? My name is Steven Akintayo. I am calling you from GTEx Homes, Banana Island, Lagos, Nigeria. How were you, ma? Oh, yeah. Tell me who them born where. That will not first give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, yeah. Tell me. The person is probably thinking you're a scammer. But just by your pitch alone, he's not giving you a benefit of what? Of the doubt. Because first of all, you were, you were bold, you were courteous. Am I making sense to talk? You use ma, you use, and you introduce yourself properly. So it's not a function. Hello, ma, how are you today? I'm fine. Uh, uh, I hope you are okay. No, don't go there. Go all the long way. Finish everything because it's not, hey, who is calling? You see how you start dulling the whole conversation? Right? Hello, ma. How are you today? I'm Stephen Akintayo. I'm calling from GTEx Homes headquarters, Banana Island, Lagos. How are you today, ma? 
Remember I started with, how are you? I still, I did it twice now. So the final one is to now say, I need a response at this point. Am I making sense at all? Now, what I am doing is to force the other person to by fire by force, at least respond. With, I am fine. But if I didn't do this, I said, hello, ma, how are you today? First thing is, who is this? Huh? You see how they are already killing your morale now. And some of them, the way they even say, the, who is this? It has finished you. Uh, who is this? You have come again. Eh? And it's commerce. Okay. But because you went all the way, you've introduced yourself, you mentioned your company name, you even mentioned where your company is. So now I'm like, okay, anybody with this detail probably might not be a scammer. So let me even greet them. I'm fine. Does that make sense at all? Then you go to the next conversation. Ask yourself, where did I get their contact from? If it's a contact that is known, it's from Global Wealth Festival, that one is easy. If it's MD's contact, easy. Hello, ma. Uh, I work with our chairman, is Dr. Stephen Akintayo, and I'm calling you because you are in his contact list, and he asked me to call you, right, and update you about our company's products and services. Is this a good time to talk to you, ma? Ah, see, court, see. Uh, do, uh, do you know you now have control of this conversation? Eh? The first control was you have so control that the person will do fine or not fine. Am I making sense at all? The second control is to also say, hey, after all that introduction, is this a good time to talk? Am I making sense at all? Another thing is, is that you don't even know where it is. It's just one of those random contacts. Ma, we are a, a real estate marketing firm. And of course, in the course of our marketing, we always get leads of high net worth individuals like yourself. Right? And you happen to be on one of the leads that has been assigned to me to you know, take care of your real estate needs, your investment needs. Because ultimately, building wealth is what is important. The Bible says, you probably will have checked the name, if it's a Christian. As the Bible says, we all know, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children. Should always say, a good woman as well, is what the Bible is saying. But man, is this even a good time? Chai. Such person, we need to clap for the person. Because that person is in control of that conversation. So don't, don't give away your control. That's what, why many of us don't even like calling. Because you've given away your control. So the conversation, you become a victim. Am I making sense? Of you farmer, you've come again. Hey, where, where did you get my number? Hey. You see how you had, the question they will have asked, you have answered it. You, it's almost, in fact, in their brain, I, is this person reading my mind? Because the next thing I wanted to ask is how did you get my number? But the person has answered it. The person has answered it. But for you to get to this point, you need, again, we go back to what? Role, role play. Because you have to do it over and over and over and over again. Have you learned something this great this morning? So I want to put the other version. What if they didn't even pick the call? Which is what will happen to sometimes 70% of your leads, 50% of your leads. What do you do at that point? Number one, you send an SMS, you send a WhatsApp, all simultaneously. If you have their email, you jump with an email. You're doing that intentionally. They are one of those things we get to them. Now, let's go into that conversation of what should have been the content of that message. Now, you must, again, from their name, you may detect whether they are male or female. If you are not sure, good afternoon, ma or sir. As at the time I got this lead, I wasn't sure whether I'm talking to you, or to a male or a female. But I want to thank you for reading this message. Right? I got your contact in the course of our company marketing. I am Stephen Akintayo. I work with GTEC Soms. Right, and we are the leading. Nobody is interested in buying junior. Nobody even wants to do business number two. 
right? But the good news is that when I say we are the leading, there can be 20 leading. Yeah? You never hear me talking about GTSO and I'm saying one of the real estate companies. No, no, no. We are one of the biggest real estate companies in Nigeria. And we are, really. We are. Because aside P1 Home, Adron, right, Revolution Plus, who else is, you know, in multiple places, like GTS homes? Am I making sense at all? Even your landway is only in Lagos, <coughs> right? It's not in Abuja. It's not in other places. So we are. But you must let the customer know. So I'm reaching out to you from, I'm, my name is Steve Akitayo. I work with one of the lead, biggest real estate companies in Nigeria. In fact, we won an award for the most transparent and integrity company in 2020. And I just want to update you about some of our real estate offers. We have some amazing, fantastic investment opportunity uh, for you. Please let me know when it's convenient for you to talk and when I can pick up this conversation. I want to thank you and I pray for you that this week will be a fantastic week. Doors will open for you. Lines are falling onto you in pleasant places. With so much love and regard and respect. Stephen, everybody wants prayer. Am I making sense at all? Yes, if I the next is ah Aburo me oh thank you. Oh my sister, oh my brother, thank you. Ah, it's even your prayer. You, you we can even start the conversation from prayer because you don't know what people are going through. Am I making sense at all? You don't know what people are going through. And everybody wants prayer. Everybody wants prayer. If I one of the skills I want to learn now, because I've noticed with elderly people. Is how to start praying. Right? How to just start praying. When I see you, God bless you. You are going places. You will succeed. Right? That's what I have learned from elders. It's just words of blessing. Words of blessing. Words of blessing. So, as a marketer, I we together now. In fact, Pastor, and this is one of the biggest strengths of Pastor Nee. Right? And do you know I was ordained pastor before Pastor Nee? But the way you use pastor, ah, for business, even me, I bury my head. <laughs> right? He managed that thing well. He leveraged on that thing. Many of his clients, is even prayer points that led to them now doing business. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> it's even prayer points. Ah! Let me hold this weekend. Oh God, this oh God, don't buy it. Let me buy. What is she? Ha, me, ha, me. Ha. After they pray like that, you don't go buy. <laughs> you are wicked now. Uh, but see you, and then when he prays, uh, the place is shaking. So you ask yourself, the energy this person has used on my matter. <laughs> I must buy. It makes sense at all. Yes, but you see, some of us we are too. Um, is it rational in our thinking? <laughs> Me and I don't want to manipulate so <laughs> with prayer. But I think genuinely the good news is that I, I do the level I can do. And to your information, I have some of my clients that really we have personal conversation that leads to prayers. I know of one of my clients that had issues of cancer of the breast, you know, and constantly I'm checking up with prayers to match. Okay, so I don't do mine in that excessive way. I would together like Pastor Nee would do, and his personality as well, I think sometimes, personality too. But you want to send prayers. I know Mr. Adeleke is good with that one. In prayers, he will, I'm sure he can pray for everybody, you know. But you want to find your own measure of it. But when sending that message, please add some prayers. Because that gets them you know, into that mode of, wow, thank you. I, because re remember what I've always taught you about selling, right? Before you touch people's pocket, you must touch their, their heart, right? You have to touch their heart. So in that right top, you do that. Now, after sending that message, God not helping you, they respond, 
Does it make sense? What do you do next? Huh? What do you do next? Eh? You put on call. No, what depends on their response. Right? It depends on their response. If their response is, ah, thank you, I love your prayers, uh, God bless you. You say how to follow up to and I say, Ma, do you prefer chat or should I call you? And what time is the best time to call you? However, before you give me, while I'm waiting for the best time, here are some videos about our product and services. Now, here's the rule. Here's the rule. Please, hear this. In those videos and flyer, here's where many of you miss it. This flyer of, this is the price of the property. This is this, should be 20%. So what are the other flyers you should put? Who can tell me? If there are older people, content of what Chief Ebenezer will be said during our 50th anniversary. Aha, who is getting it now? Because remember, you have to establish trust and credibility, and you haven't. And I think this is the reason why many of us really, really, and it happened to you, Gen Z. You know, Gen Zs have entitlement mentality, and it affects your ability to sell. Meanwhile, you should first of all know that this person owes me nothing. This person is already does not trust me at all. I see some of you join GTEx. You've only done one year and you expect me to trust you. Trust is end. Sometimes we even risk the trust. And then you betray it. You should know that you should kill and build it again. Period. You don't demand trust. You have to earn it. So in this case, you are dealing with a customer who does not know you. Right away, you are putting only flyer of price, only flyer of, you know, this is the amount. No. So add, that should be 20%, 80%. In other words, if you are sending 10 contents, 8 of that 10 content, right, should be content of, you know, interview with Chief Ebenezer Obey. The latest news, why do you think now we'll bring all this TVC arise to launch an estate? It's because you may not trust GTEx, but you trust Arise. Why do we bring a macaroni, a ketensha? You may not trust, which is part of what I keep telling Izu again. Because Izu doesn't, again, Izu is not into real estate, so it's just hearsay. Right? I know that the trust level in real estate keeps going down every day. Because people are being scammed every day in this industry. So each time, you must up your own credibility the chance of people being able to what to trust you must keep going up up and the people who even have aside those ones you also have people who have bad experience with you not even because you are bad there are people for example the day you told them they should pay documentation fee which is in their interest development levy that day you have become a scammer i regret the day i bought property from g Texas. ah i will never as again, some of you now carry that to heart. The human being that can say, I regret today. Tomorrow they say, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. Or human being that can say, you are the best thing that happened to me. Tomorrow, you are the devil. I said some of our video, you know, uh, uh, senior management staff yesterday. Now, one of the reasons we say you must not date each other in this office. Okay? One even happened recently. Where two people dated, thank God both of them resigned and they continued their love. Right? They are no longer together. I was talking to the guy about the way he looked at me. It was as if I was talking trash about the person that they so called, the romance was solid to a point both of them left. Hmm? Am I making sense at all? But that's human being for you. That's human being for you. It's just how we are. We are moved by our what? Our feelings. Today, and that's why I tell people, if you are going to do good customer care service, be detached to what the person is saying when it comes to their emotions. Take it with a pinch of salt. 
Else you will just get all, you know, into that mood like with them, all emotional and you take the way the man shouted. I have had such as when I've had clients shouting to the top of their voice when we start a conversation. By the time I'm done, they are praying for me. You are in control. All that emotion is not real. It's not real. But if you lack self-esteem, do you know what you need to master customer? It's just your own self-esteem. I don't know that you get my point. The client that I said ended up praying for me. Do you know she started that conversation? Better, she man, she did it before one night. That's how she started the conversation. The same person ended with prayers. Because if me, I took that 419 to heart, I'm a darunio. Am I making sense at all? So, why she said that, hmm, ma, <laughs> 419, how? Nibo. Okay, do you even know the definition of that word, ma? And you say I'm using ma often now, because I don't want to be rude. But I'm also challenging the nonsense you have said. Right? Am I making sense at all? For me to be a scammer means I originally had the intention of scamming you. I hope you know that. Customer service issue is not a scam. Scam means I do not have a product to start with. I never even intended to give you any product to start with. That's scam. Right? But if in the course of transferring my product to you, something happened along the way, that's why even in law they call it civil. Two people disagree. Right? What does the law come and do? Be a middleman. You can't side each one. It's not criminal. Scamming is criminal because from day one, I never intended to give you what you were paying for. Am I making sense at all? But if in the course of conversation, what you thought I was giving you is different from what I eventually gave you, that's still customer care issues. Right? And that's why we miss, you know, we misuse words a lot. Right? Even you that I'm your customer, you call me scammer. It's, you don't understand. I'm still your customer. If somebody offered you tell something, if you supply fan, and we delay in paying your money, you can't call me scammer. What kind of statement? If you know what, come and carry your fan. Move. I am still your customer. But again, you see how things have been so disorganized in Nigeria. And we, because of emotion, even us, we believe that nonsense. We are emotionally wired into that. And it speaks to how immature you are. That's why when you come to management, when you come to leadership, what you look out for before making somebody a leader is emotional stability. How emotionally stable is this person? How mature is this person? How is this person able to manage witty, strong issues? How well have they dealt with their own demons so that they don't come and be bringing their own demon to affect because remember, I have a low self esteem. Now you are killing the thing on top. I will react. I will do what? I will react. Every day on social media, ask those women, you know what? The insult they heap on me. Every day. One, just, in fact, somebody had to send that one to my DM. Say, go and defend this one. When I saw it, I was just laughing. He said, the person said, ah, all this one is Steve Akita is supporting P2B. Eh, he's defending his business. Most of his customers are Igbos. <laughs> so, so by next year we'll soon be out of circulation if I had wanted to do a post I said I hope people will know that I don't even have one single estate in the east to even say I'm supporting OB because of my business interest, I don't even have one there's even no one estate of Jesus in the east so it has nothing to do with with business decision or, but again people will say what they want to say. They are entitled to it. Yeah. It doesn't make it true. And it's their opinion. Let them have it. I mean, it's their opinion. It doesn't make it true. But when you carry those things, like, ah, ah, see what they say. It means your self-esteem is low. Work on it. It's not a crime. Just work on it. Start listening to things that boost you up. And I still do it up to today. Right? Mo motivational messages, motivational content that boosts your immune system.